Hello and welcome to Virtuos. I've been experimenting with different ways to create game mats with a budget. And I found this grass mat on Wish for about 18 euros with shipping included. And with all the coupons I managed to drop the price down to 14 euros. In this video I will go through ways to make it usable in game and this also works as a review for anyone thinking of buying this mat. I will put a link down below for this product and my referral code so you can use that when you buy this. That in turn will help me make more videos like this. The mat does come with its own problems, but I will explain a couple of ways to make it usable in your wargaming hobby. First off the box, the problem that is quite visible is the amount of grass that it sheds is huge. As you can see, even the tape on the outside of the package has them stuck on it. So before you even unpack this, I advise you to do it outside or remove all carpets from the floor. I have a rubber mat floor, so it works quite well for what I'm about to do next. Right off the package, the miniatures do tip over if they are not evenly balanced. For example, this forward-leaning orc has trouble staying upright. The larger the base and heavier the mini, the better it will, of course, stay upright. But with a bit of work, we can make this work. In games with movement trays, this mat works wonders, but with single miniatures you might have a problem if you try to use it right out of the box. I started by getting the creases off first. I dropped water on the creases and started pulling and pressing on the mat to make them disappear. And it didn't take much more than a few minutes and all of the bigger creases were off and the smaller ones didn't really matter at this point. If you have some kind of spray bottle it would make this easier to do. After the watering I noticed that the shedding was worse than I thought as you can see. So what could I do with this problem? I usually keep my playmats in a cabinet so I didn't want this to mess other stuff in there. So I started by trying out the basic PVA varnish trick. I mixed about 50-50 of water and PVA glue and started painting one corner of the mat with it just to try out how this works. At this point I didn't want to make this uh, for the whole mat since what if it wouldn't even work and it does take quite a lot of glue to do this. So the idea is that the PVA glue dries transparent and it will create a small thin film of glue on top of all the small grass and dirt pieces so that they stay better in place and the shedding will be minimal at that point. This will also handle problems with the creases uh, to some extent. It does take quite a lot of time to dry depending on how much water you use in the mix because the backside of the mat is some kind of wool so it will absorb the water very heavily. After 24 hours the mix had dried transparent and when comparing it to the rest of the mat it didn't stand out much. It does reflect more light so depending on the lightning of the room it might stand out more than you would like. Now the corner of the mat had stopped shedding some of the grass but it still did uh, but it was pretty minimal, not as much as the other parts though, so this PVA trick might work if you wanted to get rid of the shedding altogether. At this point I decided to take the whole mat outside and you should do this right when you open the package and I hit the life out of it for it to stop messing up my kitchen with the near invisible plastic grass. Before doing more with the glue, I noticed that some of the grass will stick through the backside of the mat and the shedding happens also from that way. So, I decided to create some kind of a cover on the backside. You could just sew this on a cloth or glue it on, whatever you want, but with baking paper you can actually make the creases a bit more controlled. So, once again, I took my PVA glue bottle and started gluing a few baking papers on the back and letting it to dry overnight. At this point, even if I folded the whole thing and put it in my closet, it didn't leave any grass on my kitchen table. So, mission accomplished at this point. I decided not to put the PVA coat on the mat that I did in the previous step, since it didn't really matter at this point. The shedding problem was solved. And with the PVA coat also, the creases might stay after the folding more easily, since the glue made it firmer and it would stay in place better. As you can see after the folding it still had creases on it, but with a bit of water treatment they can be easily dispatched in a few minutes. So all in all I am happy with this, it's good looking, cheap and the size is more than enough for most of the games I play. Cons are that it's not really ready to use for this hobby right out of the box and you will have to do some work on it to make it work. If you do have a table that you can keep this on at all times, then it's no big deal since the shedding really happens only when you start moving this around. 
People love grading things, so I'd give this a B plus. It has a lot of good things, but the work and the requirement to use it lower the grade. I think I would give it an A easily if I had a table that I could just let this stay on for the rest of my life, since then the problems that I just described here wouldn't really show up. Wish seems like a good place to get cheap materials for this hobby, and one thing I've found is that the range of products is diverse and pretty cost efficient also. I Though I had to wait for about three months to get this because of the corona, but I also created a small mound for a 30 by 30 centimeter patch of grass a while back and it cost me a euro only with the free shipping. But still maybe sawdust or sand would have worked better for the mound since the creases and cuts in the small grass mat do stand out. Still I like to try different things and sometimes they work and sometimes not. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to check out my other videos where I talk about cloth game mats for as cheap as 5 euros. I will see you next time.